Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about this event, Trials of Love. Okay, so let's begin the guide. I will guide you through the elite difficulty. I will use a strong friend, but you can do it without the strong one because yet the challenge is not that hard, okay? Simply make sure that your friend doesn't have any fire elemental weapon okay so if your friend has Excalibur then it is very good so I will pick this one because yep I want to make this video short so after I explain important thing I will try to kill the boss as fast as possible but yeah you don't need to have well friends okay as long as you be patient while fighting the enemy you can do with normal friend so let's begin you also don't need to kill all the enemy so yep i will start with from this okay so on first tier you can choose either left or right the left part is easier okay so the first one is against this manasa so okay this one is easy because it only do a status elements attack so as long as you have resistance against those statues such as petrify you will be fine on this battle okay so let's boost the statues but you don't need to do it okay so full break is not that good on this challenge because like you can see it only affect two statues Okay, so let's attack it. You don't need to buff your resistance on this boss because yep, it is not that powerful. So save your MP for upcoming battle. Okay, like you can see, my Cloud of Darkness have dual wield, so she can help attacking the enemy too. But the main purpose is for elemental buff so make sure you bring other hero that can buff your resistance if you don't have cloud of darkness okay it is really important for this challenge so let's recover Cecile and then use barrage again barrage and cut through so Cecile can use Q Raja cut through and Okay, so nothing hard, so I'm just gonna use my friend to end this battle quickly because yep, there's no point on prolong this battle. It doesn't have any special attack other than ailments attack, okay. So yep, after you're killing this one, don't go to the right path, simply go straight up to second tier. Like you can see, the Cloud of Darkness is petrified. This is why you. This is why very important you have Stona or other items, Golden Needle to recover your member from petrified. So yep, let's kill it. Okay, so we will fight the first tier for the right section okay so I do this after complete the dungeon for the first time okay so you don't need to beat all these bosses okay so I say that one more time again because yep I suggest you to do the dungeon two times because it will be quite hard if you want to get all the items in one go you can do that but yep you know the answer it's all up to you okay so this one is also same like the left boss not hard you simply need to resist against status ailments okay so I will start with buffing my party and Bolden. 
Okay. No need to boost your resistance right now. Because it is still easy to forgot to do full break. But like you can see, it is still useless because the defense is not reduced. So if you have if you have Noctis on this battle, then try to use this to conserve your MP. You can see here, blind, disease. You don't need to worry that much about, about disease because it only reduced 10%. But for blind, it is really important, especially if your physical attackers that obtain that blind status. Okay, cut through and blind side. I believe that this is harder than the left boss, okay? So, yep. We got one thing. Here, Raja here. Cecil wearing black glasses. It's not important because he is a healer. Okay. Still not die on this turn. But yeah, that's it. Nothing hard. Simply make sure you resist again blind, against blind or disease. After that, simply buff your defense and it will end. Repeat. Die. We win. So let's move to the second tier. Now let's move to the second tier, okay? So this is the location of the second tier. So let's proceed. Okay. This second tier, this second tier is quite hard, okay? This spider she able to use earthquake which is really powerful so make sure you boost your focus i mean your spirit and then your resistance especially earth okay because earthquake is earth element this is really important guys because earthquake is really really strong and you probably one or maybe yeah if your character has low health then maybe they will death okay from the earthquake so after that then simply use embolden again and knock this cover okay cut through yep yep okay like you can see don't say to me that it is not powerful, it is because I have used focus and boost my earth resistance. If not then Yep. Maybe it will injure my characters a lot. So yep. Mm, let's use undermine. Cloud of Darkness can attack now. So yeah. That's the only dangerous thing you need to pay attention. Okay, not, I will save it for later. Yep. Yeah, 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 attack. Still survive. But it's okay. Because we already buff our resistance. Bolt, Scorch, also it use fire and thunder element like you can see that. So yep, use your 
resistance okay they make this challenge for Valentine characters because like you already know that Mary able to increase your all resistance so definitely for emphasize on Mary's important so let's use barrage cut through again and blindside I believe we will kill it on this turn bye bye mate Bye bye. Let's move to the next challenge. Okay, the third tier is divided by two again. Okay, so you only need to fight one boss on the third tier. Okay, so we arrive on the third tier. I will go to the left boss. Okay, so let's begin. This, I don't know what to call this monster, this bug is very strong, but he only attack using physical damage. So as long as you boost your defense, you will be fine. Also, if you have golem full summoning gauge, like you can see full, then you can summon golem to help you reduce the damage. Okay, so I will use... I need I think okay. though you don't need to boost your resistant here it use win attack but yep because yep I don't think you need it because I don't think it is that dangerous okay after you boost your defense then simply attack it no need to waste your MP to boost your resistance because you still have bad you still have a lot I mean yeah one more battles before the boss so you want to conserve your MP for the fourth boss like you can see that his attack is powerful okay let's use golem here Okay, rain is blind. I don't care because mm -hmm. let's simply attack. Okay, let's use barrage, cut through, and Noctis will attack to fasten the battle. Okay. Oh my god, the attack animation of Cloud Darkness is so long. Hey, damage warp, nice. Okay. Boom. Boom. Still not die. Oh my god, no this is blinded. So I will recover Kiraja and then cure not this. Oh my god. God of darkness. Let's cure. Um, okay, so should be repeat because I believe we will kill it on this turn. No, please die. No, we need one more turn to kill it. Okay, like you can see, this one is not hard at all. Win shift. Like you can see that when the buff is gone, his physical attack can reach up to 3000. 
So yep, defense buff is really important for this battle. As long as you have that, you will be safe. Okay, so let's just attack. Kill it. Yep, we win. So let's move to the next battle. Okay, so let's fight the third tier boss which located on the right side. This one is also harder, harder than the bug boss. Okay, so let's buff our party. Focus and hold on. You don't need to buff your resistance. But you can do so because its attack has ice element. Cover. But I don't think it is necessary. Oi. I believe that the left part is the easier one like you probably already realized that the first tier left is easier than the right pad and the third tier is also same like that so mm -hmm. let's use kiraja okay so try to use provo brush and Cecil, I hope you don't die from the provoke attack. Oh, oh, scratch. It's also used fire attack, but like you can see that it is not that powerful. That's why I don't. I that's why I said you don't need to buff your elemental resistance. Remember that you need to conserve your MP, okay? But if you have trouble against it, then you can buff your resistance. But you will waste a lot of items chocolate elixir okay it. i believe we will kill it on this turn yep we win let's move to the next boss okay so this is the location of the fourth tier this is the last boss before the final boss okay so don't use your ten right now simply use your turbo eater to recover your mp okay so yeah, let's begin. This one is quite hard, okay? Because it uses magic. And make sure that you can boost your resistance here. Okay, so if you don't want to think, simply boost all your resistance. But she frequently use water and thunder attack, so boost that resistance if you don't able to immediately raise all your resistance okay so let's begin undermine and i will use cup I, I think i don't need because after this i can mm, i can use 10 to recover my mp so i don't need to conserve anymore okay Oh, it also used wind, thunder. So yep, simply boost your resistance resistance for those elements. Wind, thunder. Okay, make sure you conserve your cloud of darkness or other resistance booster MP. Okay. Because you need to cast it immediately once the effect is gone. So I'm gonna use 
blind side. Okay. Stir aja. She has a lot of health, so this battle will take quite long. Okay. Iroga. And yep, it also able to drain your MP. So, like you can see, Cecil's MP is zero now. So let's use Rain to recover his MP. So let's use your idea. Okay, so the buff from Cecil Limit Break is already gone. So I will use focus. Barrage. Cut through. I think I will I still gonna use this cover. Okay, so rain is kind of useless because full break or undermine is not that good for this challenge. But he is still useful because he has leadership skill. Okay, so he can still buff the party. Okay, so let's just kill Raja. And... Yeah. Oops, wrong. Okay, so let's buff our resistance again. Omnivel. Very, very important for this battle. Um, Undermine is useless. Um, let. I don't think. What should I use? Okay. So I think I'm gonna restore God of Darkness MP. Cut through. Well, she's not this to this. So if I remember correctly, it used water element on previous battle, but right now it only used wind and thunder. Maybe my memory fails me, but yeah, you got the idea, okay? Let's okay. So MP is okay. So the MP is gone. I hope I can end this before the before the Omni Veil effect is gone. Okay, I think I wow. Like you can see, it used water attack, so my memory is still good. So yep, water, thunder, and wind. Those elements are important for this battle. So if you have serious bar, bar Airoga, bar Tundaga, and bar Waterga. Okay, so yep, let's go to the final boss. Okay, so this is the location of the final battle. Okay, so make sure you recover your character first. Okay, so. I will use Asuna. Okay, and then let's use ten. This is really important, guys. So let's fight the last boss. Basically, it is a downgrade version of two-headed dragon trial. So if you already beat the two-headed dragon, then I believe you are able to defeat this one too. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you want to do is boost your spirit. Okay, and then resistance, especially fire and ice. Okay, 
because like two headed dragon it able to use double double breath attack or something like that which cause you mm, wait not to take some undermine is useless let's back to what i have talked about the double breath attack will do fire and ice damage so you need to able to resist against those elements so i uh, will use blind side oh sorry this will become quite long battle so cover is useful okay so for revia i don't think she has any purpose right now okay so i will simply use bar blizzara because it increased 50% and Omni fell only 30%. You get this Bar Blizzara from Carbuncle. Okay. okay. Dragon Voice. This is why you need to buff your characters, okay? It is not as crazy as two headed dragon dragon voice, but it is still over your parameter parameter, okay? So make sure you have a counter to do that to f you have a counter for dragon voice okay so le rain leadership is a good ability to counter that thing so okay let's begin mm. this can go attack now blind side or if you use q raja cecil mm, i think simply use this Attack, brush, cut through. Okay, let's. Okay. Oh my god, so low. This is maybe this is the only bad thing about God of Darkness. Okay, nice Cecil, nice. Nice. Even if you don't have Cecil, that attack is not that dangerous, okay, as long as you buff your defense. Okay, so Noctis get paralyzed. What should I do? Okay, so simply use Rain because he is a support right now. Remedy, cure Noctis Rain. Okay, so I will use cover again to maintain my MP. Cut through. Barrage. Kiraja. Okay, is my buff still there? Still. Okay, so pay attention to your buff, okay? It is really important. Especially when it's held near. 50% because it has threshold attack. Okay, of darkness. Like you can see, double breath attack. Yep, it doesn't do much damage because of Cloud of Darkness buff. Let's cast it again because the effect is gone. Okay, so let's just check. Okay, so our buff from Cecil is already gone, so it is Rain's turn to use leadership. Yeah, really, really important, guys. Without it, mm, the damage will be crazy because you because the dragon already lowered, like you can see, your parameter. Okay, from that. Dragon voice attack. Blind side. Okay, so this is okay. So okay, I am getting too cocky. This is where you should use your defense. Okay, so I think it's it used release on sixth 
when its health reach below 60%, okay, not 50%. So make sure you be careful by having your members defending and only your attacker that attack. Okay. Okay, so let's use Phoenix Down to revive Cloud of Darkness. Try to only use one character to attack, okay, when you want to reduce its health below 60% because this is what will happen if you don't careful okay, let's use Katru again okay, God of Darkness, don't die please, I need you oh my god, my Lunat is dead Ugh. Glad I have Revia. Back to life. Okay. Mm, Rain, what should you do now? Is the buff still? Okay. Oh, still, still there, the buff. Okay, so I'm gonna use Barrage. Okay. Uh, still survive. Okay, so it it still has threshold attack when it's held maybe 30%, okay, reduced below 30%. So I need to be careful starting from now. I will use I will use this turn to buff up my party. Simply take it slow. Omni veil, where's Omni veil? Okay, so rain, kill Noctis, Noctis, use cover, oh my god, realist, lucky I'm still alive. Okay, so I don't know, okay, what caused the release attack. I thought it is attack threshold like like two headed dragon, but it seems not because it still use release even when even when I don't do anything. So Oh my god, I want to use Katru. Why you do that? Is the buff still on? I will simply use this turn to recover. So let's use chocolate. Ooh, very nice item. 150 MP. You also get 20 chocolate by buying. Okay, I forgot Noctis has this limit burst. Okay, I'm really stupid. I should use. Armiger first. Huh? What happened to knock this? Oh my god. Useless. Go back to life again. Barrage and cut through. Oh my god, what I could why I can't forget about the blind. Oh Rain is also blind too. 
Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. I don't pay attention. What is that? Double red attack. Headrush. Yeah, keep attacking me. Oh my god. Kiraga. Kiraga. Why Arifia is on her knee? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this battle become really ridiculous. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Have mercy, man. Look, this army guard effect is gone. So I will use Kiraja. Let's go attack him. Oh my god. So stupid. Oh my god, go away notification. Okay, so if realist is threshold attack, it should use it right now. And I just realized that I haven't cured Cloud of Darkness blind. Let's cure it right now before I forget again. Oh my. Oh my god, it's still alive. It still lives. Please don't kill my party with your release. Ah! Ah! I should use Phoenix down. Okay, Noctis also can resurrect. I just remember. This is why he is a god. Okay, we win this battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lunet. Just keep dying, Lunet. You are really hopeless. Go, Cloud of Darkness. And knock this. Rain! Yeah, we win. Lunet. Dead. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. So I believe that's all. I hope this video helps you. If you have any question, simply leave it on the comment. So if you find any info that I just said is wrong, then simply leave a comment and I will fix it. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much for watching.
please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Breath X Guide. Bye guys!